Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Wednesday, May 25th. The opening sentence is from Matthew chapter 3. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Confession of sin. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Depart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. The glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and sure ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me and put me to the proof that they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is the people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Of whom I swore my wrath, they should not enter into my rest. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. We'll now have the psalm readings and the New Testament reading. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalm 61 and 62 beginning on page 344. Hear my cry, O God. Give ear unto my prayer. <clears throat> From the ends of the earth, I will call upon you. When my heart is in heaviness. O set me up on the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge and a strong tower for me against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tabernacle forever. And my refuge shall be under the covering of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. And have given a heritage to those who fear your name. You shall grant the king a long life. That his years may endure throughout all generations. <laughs> his throne shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare your loving mercy and faithfulness that they may preserve him. So will I always sing praise unto your name. That I may daily perform my vows. Psalm 62. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He truly is my strength and my salvation. He is my defense, so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail a man, crush him, all of you together? As if it were a tottering wall or a broken fence. Their plan is only to bring down the one whom God has exalted. Their delight is in lies. They bless with their mouth, but curse with their heart. Nevertheless. For God alone, my soul in silence waits. For my hope is in him. He truly is my strength and my salvation. He is my defense so that I shall not fall. 
In God is my help and my glory. He is the rock of my might, and in him is my trust. Well, put your trust in him always, you people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our hope. As for the children of men, they are but a breath. The children of men are deceitful. Upon the scales, they are altogether lighter than a breath. O trust not in oppression, put not vain hopes in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Have I heard him say? That power belongs to our God. And that you, O Lord, are merciful. For you reward everyone according to his work. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The canticle this morning is the Benedictus on page 19. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. The Apostles' Creed. The New Testament reading this morning is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 10th verse. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and there was a woman who had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and she glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, there are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, you hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And as he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. He said, therefore, what is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his garden. And it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour until it was all leaven. He went on his way through towns and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, will all those who... Uh, who are saved be few? And he said to them, strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen and shut the door, 
and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, open to us, then he will answer you, I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence and we, you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves cast out. And people will come from east and west and from north and south and recline at table in the kingdom of God. And behold, some who are last will be first and some who are first will be last. At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to him, get away from here for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, go and tell that fox, behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I finish my course. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often I would have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is forsaken, and I tell you, you will not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed, found on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day, Wednesday after the sixth Sunday of Easter. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now, time for prayer. Holy God, Heavenly Father, Almighty One, we praise your name and we worship you. Thank you for your many gifts. I especially thank you for the abilities you allow us to exhibit in serving you. I ask, Lord, that you would move the people of our local congregation to get more and more involved with the missions we support on a daily basis by helping with their, their ability to serve. And I just thank you and praise you for the many missions that you have out there.
Heavenly Father, we lift up all the missions that we support through prayer, through finances, especially those that touch children of all ages, those who are incarcerated, those who live in the inner city, those who are poor and in Mexico. Lord, the children are our future, are your future. Help them to come to you, to accept Jesus as their savior, to learn of the love and the mercy and the acceptance so that they may become your mighty warriors for the future. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I, we come to you uh, as ever with our hearts filled with thanksgiving. We thank you for the missions and the missionaries we support, such as Jean Johnston up in Denver and Kairos uh, Prison Ministry in the men's and women's prisons. I am especially thankful that it looks like we will be able to go back into the women's prison for a short weekend, not the full-blown weekend, but what we call a mini weekend in August, September, or October. That's still being determined. And through Kairos outside, the children, sisters, or wives of the men that are incarcerated are given their own version of a Kairos weekend. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, that these ministries are still going and are ministering to the incarcerated in their families. Continue to guide us, show us where to place our steps and how to serve you. All these things we ask in your name. Father God, we lift up the families, the community in Uvalde, Texas uh, this morning. Father, would you just be with them? Would you hold those families and uh, everybody in their school and community that have lost children, that have lost teachers, that have lost uh, people to just crazy, unimaginable um, violence last night, yesterday. Um, Father, would you just, would you hold them? Would you heal them? And um, Father, we, we pray for your protection today uh, for, for school kids and, and youth that are going to school today. Um, Lord, have mercy on us. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you'll grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us all evermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.